It's been amazing, especially at Kenya Airways, having been the first woman for six years and the only woman in the airline. We now have over 30 female pilots, which is a great example for the rest of the world to emulate because Kenya Airways is a mid-sized airline. And when you work with numbers, percentage-wise, we're one of the largest employers of women pilots in the world. It's over 20 years I've been at it, but I was the only one for six years. But now we're plenty. We're we're a whole couple of football teams of women pilots in KQ. It's a level playing field, like I always say. So what they have to do, I have to do. We have to prove ourselves as women. We can do it maybe even better. One of my biggest inspirations was my dad, who was a pilot. So I started flying with him at a very young age. Some of the presidents I've flown is um, the president of South Sudan, Selva Kerr, and uh, the president of Liberia, Ellen Salif Johnson. It's not a man's job. You're sitting in the flight deck. You can see these buttons, these levers. They don't know how to differentiate between a man and a woman. I'm here because I'm able, I'm capable, I'm qualified, I'm disciplined, I'm a professional. I'm 29 years old and I feel very grateful and fortunate to be flying this aircraft, particularly at such a young age. Yeah. There are very few people in the world, so close to none, who at this age can be saying I am a dreamliner pilot, so I'm very thankful. I joined Kenya Airways uh, seven and a half years ago, roughly, and um, I was uh, very fortunate. Uh, it was my first job, and uh, since then I've uh, I joined on the Embraer. I uh, went up to fly the 737 and now I'm here on the Dreamliner. I've had um, a lot of inspiration from both male and female pilots. Uh, uh, since I joined, I've been given a lot of guidance. I'm happy to be one of the many women now to break that stereotype that it's a man's world.